At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is also brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For more information, call 775-751-0349. News is also brought to you by Hope Cancer Care of Nevada, providing quality cancer care in a spa-like setting. We are Pahrump's only chemotherapy center. Call 1-800-881-4226. News 46 is also brought to you by the Pahrump Nugget Hotel and Casino. Located at the intersection of Route 372 and Highway 160, you can call the Pahrump Nugget at 775-751-6500 or you can visit their website at www.pahrumpnugget.com. Tonight on News 46, a vehicle accident shuts down traffic at the busiest intersection in town. DCI Motors hopes to hire veterans for manufacturing. And I say goodbye to KPVM. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Zach Fuentes and Monique Mitchell. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. And good evening, everyone. It's Friday, January 4th, 2013. I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. Traffic signals at highways 372 and 160 have been repaired since last night's accident, which caused traffic to be diverted for many hours. Tonight's accident report is brought to you by Stovall & Associates. Don't expect insurance companies to have your best interest in mind. Stovall & Associates cares. Let us help you if you have been involved in an accident. Late yesterday afternoon, a single vehicle accident on Highway 372 and 160 actually took out a couple power boxes there that controlled the traffic signals. We're going to speak to Fire Chief Scott Lewis. Yeah, it was a very interesting accident. While it only involved one vehicle, it did a lot of property damage as it took out two large control boxes that not only controlled the power for all the utility lights controlling the traffic signals and such, but also took a main power box out that provided the power to the control boxes. So we had arcing live wires running along the sidewalk. And what added a little bit of a challenge is that we were waiting for the sprinkler system to kick on for the grass that runs along that area. So we were very concerned, but the employees at the casino assisted us in making sure that that didn't happen. Valetra came in in a timely fashion, secured the power. And as you saw, throughout the night, they were working to get those control boxes to control that intersection again. And CSO did a great job controlling the traffic that we were dealing with during the course of the accident. Public Works came out, uh, put another box in place, because that box that was there was completely destroyed, wasn't it? There were actually several boxes completely destroyed, and one was actually wedged under the front of the vehicle, which has sustained serious damage as well. It had to be towed from the scene. The most fortunate part of this whole thing is there's no injuries. This morning, News 46 spoke to Director of Public Works, David Fanning, who told us that the box that they brought in to work the traffic signal there is a used box, and right now it is in protective mode, meaning that it is not doing all of the functions that it is supposed to be doing at that traffic signal. They will be shutting down the traffic signal one more time next week to reprogram that box, and we will let you know when that will be occurring. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. An early morning structure fire occurred on the north side of town. It actually went out as a structure fire. While we were en route to the call, it was informed to us that it was actually a fifth wheel trailer that was well involved. It was located on the shoulder area in front of the residence. It was in direct uh, area of a parked pickup truck. 
and it was in close proximity to the primary structure. So there were exposures that we had to consider. Uh, the crews did a really good job, knocked the fire down in a short fashion, no extension to those exposures, and uh, we were there for about an hour's time. Unoccupied? It was unoccupied. It had been, it's been uh, idle for quite a while, uh, probably about six months or so, mm -hmm. and uh, no activity within it. So it's under investigation at this point. So was there electricity being ran to this uh, trailer or not? Um, so is Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue investigating, or are you sending in the State Fire Marshal? Actually, due to the extent of damage, the State Fire Marshal's office will not be called on this. It will be investigated within the department. Um, from the, the initial onset of the investigation, it was determined that there was no electricity provided to the trailer. There was very little um, material, personal property stored within, very little activity with the trailer in general. But we are thoroughly looking into it and see what we can come up with as uh, origin and cause. First reported by who? The actual owners of the property, they had were awoken in the middle of the night by the sounds of popping noises. They peered out of their window and saw the fire condition and reported it. And so nobody injured um, in this fire, um, just the personal property damage. Exactly. Property damage only, no injuries. And as we head into our first break, let's join Jeff Simmons at the Prompt Nugget. Hi, I'm Jeff Simmons, the bingo director here at the Prompt Nugget Hotel Casino. We'll start off with our stage bar tonight. We have Rocket Science. They used to be called State of the Art. They're playing a little bit more rock music now, so come on down and enjoy some great music. Then every Friday and Saturday in the month of January, we're going to be giving away $200 cash drawings from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. every Friday and Saturday. Then at 9 p.m. on Saturdays at all three properties at the Nugget, Go Town, and Lakeside, we're going to give away a four-day Mexican cruise. So one winner at each property will receive that cruise at 9 p.m. And in bingo, we got uh, Martha Luther King, uh, January 17th. We'll be, have all sessions. We're having uh, all sessions. We're having uh, four extra cash balls in bingo. Then we also every Sunday and Monday we have lower buy-ins, and every day at the 11 to 1 we have lower buy-ins. Had a great new year. Hope everybody else did too. Look forward to seeing you here at the Nugget. Thank you. Lakeside Casino and RV Park, where we earn the best ratings for our RV park in North America with the most beautiful scenery and quiet surroundings. Our casino features the best gaming experience, entertainment that'll blow your mind, and come see the great changes in our buffet, all here at the Lakeside Casino and RV Park. This portion of the news is brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, a rump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Okay, so we're just getting this in. This happened a little bit ago. There was an accident at LJ's Market on Highway 372. Apparently, the car hit the skirting around the gas pump and is pretty banged up. We'll have more about this on Monday night's newscast. Well, DCI Motors is hoping to start a manufacturing plant right here in Pahrump and to hire veterans as their first choice. Uh, we think that, you know, the, the vehicle, it, my intentions in the first place, because we call it a V2, was four vets, uh, built by vets, that is something that I had in my head when I first designed it in the first place. So the, for me, um, we want to build the structure of the company to uh, create jobs for vets, uh, train vets to be able to build the units, and then vets will use it as well as disabled will be able to use it. Uh, with the governor's help to help us get the manufacturing set up and done, um, that is something that, that we're working on right now as we speak. I know that, that, that the uh, governor uh, su supports the vets. How can people get involved in this project, in the V2, in supporting you opening a manufacturing plant here? We have a lot of the vets um, calling in to the, the VA. That is the main thing that we need to do. Um, also having the, the vets also call into the, the governor's office. Um, because that's something that, that they need to know that this is something that they want. And I think it's, it's something that everybody wants, but for us Pahrumpians here, um, it's more economic development. And I know that we all know that we need manufacturing jobs here. And we also need manufacturing jobs in the state of Nevada, period, beyond, um, you know, gambling. But, um, this is something that I think if we can start manufacturing here in Pahrump, uh, we can go further. Can people order this V2 right now? Yes, they can. Um, they can order it from us right now. How long does it take to uh, 
to make one of these? Because it has to be custom designed, right? Yes, it does. Um, right now, it's taking us about it's taking us about two weeks right now uh, per unit. Uh, and the only reason is because right now I'm I'm busy um, trying to get um, some of the other elements that I I, I want to. In day, uh, put into the unit, like I was telling you, the, the GPS system, I'm, I'm calling vendors um, for that to see if I can find one that uh, is more economical for the unit and then make it more cost effective for the person itself. So if people would like to find out more about the V2, they can stop by your um, location here on Black. Tell the address and phone number. Uh, the address is 301 South Black, Pahrump, Nevada, 89048. And um, the telephone number is 775-537-2299. And we also have an email address, uh, which is uh, dcimotors.com. Uh, you can see the V2 there and everything about the V2 and some of the vets that have already bought the V2 and what they think about it. It's all on our website there. Tim Wiggers from Nye Communities Coalition wants to invite the community to get off their sofas. It's a new year and that means a lot of new events are going to be taking place in Pahrump. Many of them are going to be happening right here at the Nye Communities Coalition. This Sunday we're starting the, uh, the first new event um, of the year, I guess. There's a number of events that we're wrapping under the umbrella of Get Fit Pahrump. And actually starting this Sunday, uh, the first piece of it, starting this Sunday at 1 o'clock, is a weekly walk that we're going to be leading in the Mountain Falls neighborhood that's open to anybody in the community. So if you're interested, if you made a New Year's resolution to get out and and uh, basically get off the couch, that's what, that's what we're calling this, from couch to 5K, because it's leading up to uh, a run that we do in March every year. But starting this Sunday and starting every Sunday at 1 o'clock, uh, we're leading the community in a walk of whatever somebody wants to do, for, whether it be one mile, less than a mile, up to five kilometers, or ten kilometers. So uh, if anybody is interested, they just come to Mountain Falls to the restaurant, and there's a, a fountain right outside the entrance to the restaurant, and they can meet uh, our AmeriCorps member, Barry Fenton, and Barry's going to be leading a walk every Sunday at one o'clock uh, in Mountain Falls. So come on out and get off the couch. And people can also get some nutritious food at the Campus Cafe here. That's right. The cafe is open uh, for lunch Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday like it has been in the past from 11 to 1.30. But as well, we're trying to, to grow our catering business to give the youth uh, some different experiences with different types of food. So if an organization, a committee, um, a group of people are interested in, uh, in catering food, um, we are preparing food now well beyond our normal cafe menu. So if you have an idea for a menu or a budget in mind, reach out and, and just contact the coalition and we'd be glad to have a conversation with anybody. So uh, the catering is up and growing strong. Great. Anything else happening with the coalition in the near future? You know, I guess the, the newest thing for the coalition is that we are now going to be the, the provider in, in Pahrump for child safety seat. Uh, car seats, inspections and installation, and we have some limited funding available to provide some no-cost seats to those that qualify, and basically t to qualify it for those that are on some sort of uh, assistance. But uh, um, you can call for an appointment. We're, we've scheduled every Friday starting tomorrow uh, between 11 and 1 to be kind of our designated weekly inspection installation time, but we can We'll be doing some community events throughout the year. Um, but when it comes to child safety seats, inspections to make sure that they're installed properly, um, or installations for those that um, qualify for new seats, or if somebody has purchased a new seat and wants, to, wants us to install it that first time and show them, uh, we have qualified people uh, on our campus now that are ready to go. Wonderful. So if anybody has any other questions or wants further information about any of the programs you talked about today, who can they call? You know, the easiest thing is just to, to call and ask for Tim at the Coalition, and our number here is 775-727-9970, or send me an email, nice and easy, tim, T-I-M, at n-y-e-c-c dot o-r-g. Thank you so much, Tim, for letting us know what's going on. I'm Zach Fuentes for News 46. All right, folks, we'll keep it here because we'll have more news for you after this break.